Hello, my name is Dr. Raj Kannan. I'm a physical therapist here working in RME Hospital. Torticollis is otherwise called as right neck. It indicates that the muscles of the neck, especially a muscle called stenocleidomastoid, is too much tight to cause a deviation of the neck to one side. So, ideally, if there is a right side tightness, the patient will tilt to the left side this way. Now, this condition can occur at any point uh, of time. There are three stages where this condition predominantly affects. One, when for the newborn, other for the children, and the third type, it occurs for the adults. Let's talk about the causes of torticollis for the newborn. Uh, these newborn are born with, with the neck tilted to one side. We attribute that to two major causes. One, abnormal positioning of the baby inside the womb, uh, which, which, which could have led to this condition. There are other theories saying that when the child is uh, born, with too much forces uh, acting upon this muscle could block the circulation, thereby the muscle would have gone for tightness. So this condition is to be treated immediately because if not treated early in their life, these children will likely to have a permanent uh, deformity like that. So this is called as uh, infantile torticollis, which occurs during the time of birth. The second type is called as childhood torticollis. Here, the causes could be because of infection, it could be because of some growth, uh, tumor-like growth happening in the, in the stenocardiomastoid muscle, or it could be due to the trauma, uh, or sometimes the, some children will have visual uh, imbalances wherein they have to see like that, and gradually they go, do get the tightness of the same muscle. And just childhood torticollis can be very well treated, provided if the cause is identified very early, and if the cause is treated, this condition automatically tend to get subsided. Still, some of these children uh, would require physical therapy program in order to regularly stress this muscle. The thirdly, the adult type uh, torticollis, there are two major causes here. One, the dystonic type of torticollis where the problem is coming from the brain. Due to abnormal firing frequencies happening in the brain, the muscles which are uh, which are controlled by certain regions in the brain will give tonic information to, the, to this muscle. In this case, this muscle will get tightened automatically even when the patient tries to correct himself, the neck will automatically go like that. So this is a very difficult condition to treat. Now we call this as dystonic torticollis, where some these patients will sometimes get benefited by, by other medical or surgical interventions. Wherein the second cause of adult torticollis could be very well because of the discogenic pain. And now because of uh, weight lifting, uh, because of trauma, the disc tend to get bulged to one side and that makes the patient to move the head to the other side. So this we call as uh, neck, adult acute right neck. So in this case, physiotherapy plays a major role uh, in order to reduce the disc belt so that the, the patients whose neck is like that can be gradually corrected with exercises so that he gets a normal position. So these are the three types of uh, torticollis.